DIY Guide Install a new bathroom faucet easily. Have you ever felt something was missing in your bathroom? It could be time for an update. Adding a new faucet can bring elegance. A new one can make a huge change. I changed my faucet, and the difference was amazing. The new faucet made my bathroom look better. It was easy to install with a few tools and some plumbing knowledge. D. How to replace and install a bathroom faucet. Step-by-step -step faucet replacement. Plumbing tips for beginners. Bathroom upgrade project. D. Home improvement. Finding the right faucet for your bathroom sink. Choosing the right faucet for your sink is key. It depends on several factors. One major factor is how many holes your sink has. We'll look at different faucets and how they fit with various hole setups. Centered or widespread faucets for multiple holes. Pick a center faucet if your sink has three holes, four inches apart. It fits into one hole, with the handles and spout on one plate. A widespread faucet works best for a sink with eight inches between holes. It has separate handles for hot and cold water. This gives a more flexible and fancy look. The widespread faucet's parts are usually joined by hoses. This lets you place them how you want. Make sure the hole distance matches the faucet type. This ensures it installs right. Single hole faucets for minimalist designs. If you like a simple look and have one hole, go for a single hole faucet. It has one handle for both temperature and flow. This design is great for small sinks or clean looks. These faucets are simple to install. They give your bathroom a modern look. Energy saving features, water sense labeled models. Think about energy saving faucets too. These faucets use less water and still work great. Choosing a water sense faucet helps save water. It can also cut your water bill. When choosing your faucet, think about the sink's holes and your style. By looking at these things, you'll find the best faucet. It will make your sink work better and add to your bathroom's look. Before you put in a new faucet, you need to get the old one out and get the sink ready for the new one. Let's walk you through each step to make sure you're all set. Shutting off the water. First, stop the water supply to your bathroom. Find the valves under the sink. Disconnecting water supply lines. Next, use an adjustable wrench to take off the water supply lines. Unscrew the nuts that connect the lines to the faucet and remove them carefully. Removing faucet mounting nuts. Find the mounting nuts under the sink. Use a basin wrench to loosen these nuts. Keep turning them counterclockwise until you can take them off by hand. Unhooking lift rod. If there's a lift rod attached to your sink's drain stopper, unhook it. This is connected with a strap or linkage to the faucet. Prying old faucet. Now, take the old faucet off the top of the sink. If sealant or a gasket makes it stick, gently pry it loose with a putty knife. Cleaning sink surface. After removing the old faucet, clean the sink's surface. Use a good sink cleaner and a soft cloth. If there are 8 inches between holes, pick a widespread faucet. It has separate handles for hot and cold water. First, turn off the water and disconnect the supply lines with a wrench. Take off the faucet's nuts and the lift rod. Then, remove the faucet from the sink top. 